If you're new to being a Maltese owner, or even if you've had your Maltese dog for a while, you might be unaware of how some of the crucial mistakes that shorten your Maltese life. So, for all Maltese parents, here are the nine things that you need to change right now if you want to live longer with your Maltese. Number nine, you don't take care of your dog's teeth. The vet will always tell you how healthy your Maltese dog by looking at his teeth. Dog's teeth are a strong indicator of internal health. If you want to keep a dog healthy, you need to focus on the dog's teeth and gums. Check gums every week, and if you notice white gums, contact your vet. In the meantime, feed your dog foods that promote teeth health and learn which human foods can threaten your dog's health. Gum disease or periodontal disease is common in dogs. Actually, it's so common that 85% of dogs who are over 5 years old suffer from periodontal disease. Number 8. Giving food from your table to your Maltese Research shows that feeding dogs from your table is a terrible idea. The stomach and esophagus of people and dogs are completely different, and the gastric juices are different too. The digestive system of dogs simply can't handle most of the foods we eat. It's better to not express your love to your Maltese with your food, but with your attention to its diet. Number 7. Don't give your Maltese ice I have to admit that I am guilty of this one. My Maltese used to love to play with ice cubes when he was a young dog. I didn't realize at the time that there was danger in giving him an ice cube. Now I know better. If your dog tries to chew the ice cube, it can crack or break its teeth. This is especially true of the larger back teeth. A cracked or broken tooth is really painful for your Maltese, and depending on the situation, you may have to have the tooth removed. Needless to say, I don't give my Maltese ice any longer. Number 6. Allowing your dog to get overweight One of the leading causes of a shortened lifespan is overweight and obesity, and it is totally upon the owner to make sure the dog maintains the correct weight. Being overweight makes the dog vulnerable to a range of severe disorders, including osteoarthritis, diabetes, cardiac issues, and others. So make sure that your Maltese is fed and exercised correctly. In case you feel that the weight gain is abrupt and seems unusual, it is best to get it checked for signs of other disorders. It is a common mistake for owners to misjudge their dog's weight. It will help to refer to dog size and weight charts to make sure your Maltese is growing positively. Number 5. Don't use a crate for punishment. If you have created trained your Maltese, then you might still have it around once they are older. Chances are, your Maltese feels safe in its crate and doesn't mind being in there for short periods of time. However, if you use the crate to punish your dog and are yelling at it as you put it in the crate, it will start to have a negative association. Number 4. Don't yank on your Maltese leash. While you might have to on a rare occasion yank on your Maltese leash to keep them out of danger, this is something to avoid. Doing this often can lead to a neck fracture. Your Maltese has a hyoid bone at the base of their tongue. By yanking on a leash, this bone can break. That's not something you or your dog wants. Number 3. Washing their head first and skipping dental care. Washing is a natural care procedure both in terms of prevention of diseases and in terms of hygiene. It's better to wash your Maltese dog only when it gets dirty, like after a walk in a dusty area. You should always wash the dog's head at the very end of the bath because your Maltese can get cold with a wet head and start to shiver. Also, don't forget about the health of your dog's teeth. When you take your pet to the vet next time, Ask the doctor to check the condition of their teeth. You can buy a special toothbrush and toothpaste at the pet store and begin regular dental care. Number 2. Not giving a dog enough attention and love. Dogs are social animals. They crave communication with you and other dogs. Just like us, dogs need social adaptation in order to develop their personality and character in the right way. Otherwise, your pet may soon become easily scared, aggressive, and disobedient. Number 2. Leaving a Maltese closed in an apartment for a long time 
Maltese of all ages and breeds should have enough time in the fresh air, be able to move a lot, have regular communication with other dogs, and be free to learn about the world. If they don't have enough physical activity, they will protest in their own way. They will be bored and overwhelmed with energy, which might result in them destroying your personal items or your furniture. Besides, a lot of physical activity and discipline are necessary for your pet's health. Take note next time after a nice long walk, your dog will probably go right to sleep. Number 1. Skit Visits to the Vet It is easy to think that you can go online and figure out what is wrong with your Maltese based on their symptoms. Heck, oftentimes we do that for ourselves too. No one likes to go to the doctor and vet visits are expensive. Even so, you should take your Maltese to the vet at least once a year. That way, they can pick up on any health conditions that your dog may have, and that would be undiagnosed otherwise. Even though Maltese are small dogs, it is important to stay current on all of their shots. My cousin had a dog. It wasn't a Maltese and was a much larger dog. It got out of the house and attacked her neighbor who was gardening at the time. The neighbor, a man in his early 60s, was a college professor. His injuries were bad enough that he could no longer work and had to retire. Two years later, he is still having health issues and a reduced activity level. The dog in question was put down. And part of the reason for that was that my cousin had not been taking the dog to the vet and it didn't have its shots. It's not the poor dog's fault, but he paid the price. Of course, my cousin is being sued because her homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay all the hundreds of thousands of dollars in doctors and hospital bills this man is racking up. So in the end, she is paying the price as well. Of course, a Maltese would never be able to do this kind of damage, but the point is, it is better for your dog and your peace of mind to take your dog to regular vet appointments. Subscribe now if you love Maltese Dog.